Alright, so this is going to be a quick video, well maybe not quick, but a video on how to put ringtones on a Sprint phone. Hence my new phone, the Rumor, it's pretty sweet. But um, if you're like a Verizon user, you might be saying, oh it's easy, you just put an MP3 on the card, or like the micro SD card, whatever you have, and just set it. It's not that easy on Sprint. For some reason they block MP3 for being able to set MP3s as your ringtones, which is stupid, I mean it can play them fine but you can't set them as your ringtone which is stupid so I found a process that's fairly simple but a little long but very easy once you get the hang of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here first you're gonna need a song that you need it could be a WMA mp3 whatever you want and I'm doing this on a Mac obviously so with Windows for this first step here um, well for Mac you, you're gonna wanna open GarageBand on a, on a Windows PC you could probably open Movie Maker I'm not sure it should work just fine though. Just extract the audio. Well, not the. Never mind. That's for a video. Anyway, just find like a Windows, a program like this for Windows. So you want to drag your file into here. If it doesn't want to drag, that means it's not a format, like an acceptable format. And you can just download converters and convert it. Whatever, no biggie. All right. So here's your song. You can play it. <laughs> And to edit this, you're going to want to double click here. And you see it brings up that little menu down there. And so just skip around the song, find a spot that you like. Just come up here. Just jump around. Thank you. So that's where I want it. So now down here, you drag, you click here and hold it in, and then just drag to the left and hit delete, and it'll delete everything else. And then you're gonna want to move this over here so it starts at the beginning. Oops, I don't know what I did. Okay, but yeah, just drag it so it starts at the beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then play it again. Save all your prayers. I think we You don't. You probably don't want to be more than about 25, 30 seconds. So ooh, I don't know what I did there. I have to find my spot again. Alright, that's good. Alright, so again, then just take it. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. And just drag it all the way to the end. And this might take a minute, depending on how long the song is, obviously. And I think you can like zoom in and zoom out of it, but whatever. I'll just do it like this. Okay. So then hit delete. Left a little bit here. Okay. So then jump to be the beginning and hit play. Save all your prayers. I think we lost today. There's no morning after. No one's around to play. So go to the beginning, and now what you're going to want to do from here is come up here to share, export song to disk. Now you're going to want to um, export it as an MP3, and then just save it. I'm just going to put it on the desktop. It must be easier, and then it'll export real quick. Okay, and that's done. So I'm just going to minimize this, and then I think this is it. Yes, okay. So now what you're going to want to do is open up iTunes. It sounds kind of weird, but just follow. Just do this with me. Okay, so. And drag this into iTunes. And then find it. Okay, here it is. Ringtone thingy. Alright, so now what you want to do is right click. Create ACC version. Okay. 
and now you're going to want to um, click the one that you just made, the ACC, right click, show in Finder, or show in Windows Explorer if you're on a PC, and here it is, it's now an M4A file, that's what you want, so just drag that to your desktop, preferably it's the easiest place to find it, and now you can delete these from iTunes, because more than likely you don't want them in there, and it's trash, okay, so now you can close iTunes, you're all done with iTunes, and now you're going to want to open up Safari or Internet Explorer, that'd be terrible, but you know, whatever browser you use, and I'm going to put a link to a website in the description, you just want to click that, and then more than likely if you're doing this you have Sprint because it's a lot easier with like Verizon or whatever like I said, so go to Sprint, I'm not going to do it because I don't want you to like, you know, see my number, but just enter in your phone number, and choose the file, you want the M4A, make sure you don't get the MP3 or it won't work. So M4A, and you can have a ringtone name, and I'll name it uh, Dead End, obviously. Alright, so I guess I'll, I'm going to send this because I want it, but um, I'll be right back. Alright, so I moved this to the side so you couldn't see my number, so you just enter your number there, you choose the file, and then hit upload. If I can click it, there we go. Okay, so it takes a second to upload. And then watch your phone because you'll be getting a text message. And what it's doing now is it's making like it's um, making a link so that you can download it from your phone and then just save it right to your phone. So this takes a minute or two. So it's been sent. So just wait for your phone. Okay, and then you'll get a text message kind of looking like this. I don't know if it's focusing or not because I don't have like a preview on my screen. But you just want to, like, on my phone you just click go. Connect to the internet. It's connecting. And then you'll get a screen that looks like this. Just scroll down and then um, hit download. See if it's going. Alright, now this is just a warning saying it's not a trusted file. Whatever, just download it. Download initializing. Thirty percent and climbing. Again, I'm not quite sure if it's focusing, so sorry if it's not. 60%. It's getting there. And um, if you can't get on the internet with your phone like to download this, I'm not really sure what you can do. Like I have an adapter for the micro SD and I tried to drag the file right on there. For some reason it wouldn't work. So maybe you have to do something, I'm not quite sure, but whatever. So, okay, it's done now. Listen. There's your ringtone. Mine's 27 seconds. And then, see, I, I kind of messed up on mine, so it has oh, my screen went black. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. But um, if you notice, mine had a little bit of dead air at the end. That's fine. Some of them do. It depends on if you leave space at the end, which I did on accident. So, But it's no big deal. So we can set as... Um, Set it for all my contacts, whatever. So there you go, there's your, there's your ringtone. You can do that with however many songs you want. Like I said, if you can't get internet on your phone, I'm not really sure how you can do it. Um, you can try putting it on your micro SD if you have a connector, or in my case, see if I can find it. I have a little SD adapter. As you can see, it has that little cutout right there. And you just put the micro SD in there, and just put it in a normal slot reader. So yeah. Um, and if you're wondering, I got this off eBay. It came with the 2 gigabyte micro SD, $7, brand new. So if you need one, just go hit up eBay. They're great. But so yeah, sorry this video is a little long, but hopefully you Sprint users will find it useful. So CPU kid out. Thanks for watching.